Hey everybody, welcome back to Calling and Sick Today's channel. Today we're going to be talking about Dead by Daylight, obviously, but we're going to be talking about whether or not Dead by Daylight should go free to play. Now, before you guys attack me, I'm going to start by going right into it and talking about appreciation. I was actually going to name this compensation, but I didn't want to come off as one of those toxic Dead by Daylight players and fans, so I decided to name this appreciation instead. Now, Behavior doesn't have to do this if they go free to play, but it would be cool if Behavior did do something to show appreciation to the fans by saying, hey, I know you guys might not agree with us going free to play. And again, if they go free to play, here is something to show that we do care about your opinion, we do care about the player base, we do care that you have supported us over these numerous years. Here is this either something very similar to a legacy skin, something very cool like that. Here is the skin or here is this cosmetic charm or anything of the sort to show that, hey, we care about you. And this would be something that free-to-play players couldn't get and can never get. This is only something, a one-time thing, kind of like Legacy. Here we go. We appreciate you. I do think that would be very cool if they did something like that. And I think it would a a, a calm down um, a lot of players who might have some apprehensions of Dead by Daylight going free-to-play. Now, before I go on, I do want to make it clear because it sounds like I'm saying Dead by Daylight is going free to play. Dead by Daylight is not going free to play as far as I know. This is just speculation that if they did, I feel like this is the route that they should go. I also want to make clear that I'm talking about the base, base game only. I am not talking about the DLCs, the cosmetics. I'm only talking about the base game, the OG survivors and killers, the original um, survivors and killers that were in the game. Those are the only ones that should go free free to play, not the DLCs, and not the cosmetics. Hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to swallow. Yeah, so I'm not talking about the entire game entirely, I'm just talking about the base game only. Now, the reason why I, I personally believe that Dead by Daylight should go free to play, one of the reasons anyways, is that it already does everything that a free to game, a free to play game does. Now, if you look at the two, at least for me, two prime examples, if you look at League of Legends and Fortnite, they, those games are both free to play, they both have a battle pass, and they both have cosmetics, sometimes expensive cosmetics. Dead by Daylight has expensive cosmetics, and they do have now a battle pass. I do think that since they're already doing every all the tactics that a free-to-play game does, they should probably go free-to-play. Now, another reason that I think they should go free-to-play is that it will hopefully bring more players. Usually, free-to-game play, free-to-play games do bring more players. Now, I did put in parentheses potentially, uh, as you guys have seen. Because, especially for Dead by Daylight, it's not guaranteed that if a game goes free to play, it will bring in more players. Now, one thing going against Dead by Daylight is that it is an M-rated game. And this is actually something that M-rated games and R-rated movies share. Uh, the difficulty that they have to face is that a lot of the population is legally not allowed to play this game. Or at least recommended not to watch or, or play the game. We all know growing up, at least for me, that kids play M-rated games, teens play M-rated games, but it does make it harder for teens and kids to get their hands on the game, especially if this game has a lot of killing and a, a lot of killing and a lot of gore. So that's just one, one, one thing against them. If they did go free to play, it does not necessarily guarantee more players because again, this is an M-rated game. That's why I say potentially, so it's still a risk. They could also, you know, if they want free to play, a lot of players may stop playing because they feel it's not fair, and they might not bring in a lot more players, therefore they would actually still be losing money. Another reason that I do think that going free to play would work is because a lot of players, this actually goes back to doing everything that a free to, free -to play game does. A lot of players might spend more money on cosmetics and more money on DLCs that they might not have because the game is free to play now. I don't know if that's true or not. Again, this is all speculation. I just know that, at least for Fortnite players and League of Legends players, they might spend a lot more money because they don't have to initially pay money, you know, for the game. Again, this is all speculation. And I want to make this clear. This is all speculation. These are not facts. This last one, though, is kind of factual based. Um, most high-grossing games are paid. They're not free. So if you look at the most of the high-grossing games, it's actually against Dead by Daylight going free to play. If you look at the high-grossing games, if you look at Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, any COD game, Halo franchise, a lot of these games, uh, the Spider-Man or Red Dead Redemption, if you look at these games, they're high-grossing, they're also one of the most high-grossing games in the gaming industry, they're not free to play. So they're making money and they're not free to play. Now, 
I, I do want to I do want to say this. Those games have already established themselves in the gaming community. COD, Halo, Super Smash Bros, Pokemon. They've have they've already they already had their fans. Okay, they've started from years ago. They've built up their audience. That's part of the reason why they're they're, they're high grossing. Dead by Daylight. There has been no previous Dead by Daylight. There has been no Dead by Daylight two, as far as we know. So they're still trying to make their foothold in the player base and the community in that in that horror franchise. They're trying to be again the king of horror, and right now they are. However, so this may not be smart to look at those games that are high grossing that are paid because they've already established their community. They've already set their foot in. They have their player base. Dead by Daylight is still trying to get there. So that's just a point against and for maybe free to play. I'm just trying to give you guys at least the the most angle that I could give for, for this topic in general because again, this topic is, I'm not the first one to bring it up. I'm sure you guys have seen other maybe feeds, Reddit posts, Facebook posts about this as well. I'm just giving you my take and I'm trying to give you guys a well-rounded opinion so you could make your own decisions, see maybe it might be a good idea or not. So that's really all I have to say, guys. Uh, this is actually gonna be one of my shorter videos. I don't really have that much else to say, at least anything for this topic. If you guys think I missed any talking points for or against Dead by Daylight going free to play, please let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe. If you want to talk about this in person, I do stream on Mixer every day. Uh, the link is below if you want to check me out. Um, we could talk about this. We could talk about a lot of other things too. I mean, I, I do watch a lot of TV shows and comic books and other, you know, I do play other games as well, although I mostly do stream Dead by Daylight. So if you guys want to talk about it, please, comment or, or check me out. I really will appreciate it. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible as well. I do make these videos because I, they are discussion pieces. I want to hear everyone's voice. It's not just me talking. I want to hear what you guys think. Maybe I made bad mistakes. Maybe I made really, really awesome points. I don't know. I want to hear your voice. Your voice really does matter. So please comment below. Uh, I do believe a pre-recorded game that I made is playing Obviously, that's what you guys are here for anyways. I'm going to let that go, and I'll actually, bam, get rid of the talking points as well. Uh, enjoy the game, and hope to hear from you guys soon.